in today's tutorial i am going to show you how to create nine colorful options infographic slide in powerpoint and this is how the slide works when i click you can see here i have created these two uh, different color tone uh, and then you can see the title along with the icon and the detailed text when i click the second option comes with a different title then the third fourth fifth sixth you can see here it's getting different different color combination so this is the nine uh, options infographic slide and i've created a few more slide and here i have added some different animation it comes like this you can see here like this also it can be done and i've created one more where i have used some kind of this one you can see here some arrow so you can uh, make a lot of different ideas with this slide and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the slide background to any light color background then go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this parallelogram draw the parallelogram maybe this much size and then i can just you can see the small orange point i can just drag this inside and if you want somewhat bigger you can make it also so i'm just going to make this size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give uh, one color like this and then i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to choose a lighter color for example let me just choose this yellow and go to rotate and i'm going to make it you can see here either flip horizontal or flip vertical and then i'm just going to paste it here exactly and then i'm going to select both of these press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just going to attach this one so now this color i'm going to give it yellow and this one i'm going to give it orange so you can see here it looks something like this all right just make sure that it is properly it should not overlapping all right if you want you can just zoom it and check it properly i think this is okay and once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all and put it at the bottom go to format or go to view or make the guides enabled and make sure that it is properly aligned in the center all right and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and keep on adding something like this you can see here doesn't matter don't worry if it is going beyond the slide size so now let me just select all press ctrl g to group it hold the shift key and then reduce the size to fit in the slide so okay something like this let me just remove the guides and i'm going to ungroup this right now it's time to give some different color combination so depending on your requirement either you can keep it one color or you can give multiple colors so for this two i'm going to give some different color combination maybe i'll give this one and here i'm going to give same but let me just right mouse click go to format object under fill color more colors i'm going to make it less you can see here a shade here like this color again these two colors should be darker any color and these two colors should be the same color but make it more lighter so go to more colors and make it more lighter all right then again i'm going to select this two shape fill maybe i'm going to give this green and here also i'm going to give green again go to more colors make it more lighter color all right and then the last one these two you can just choose maybe some purple 
and this also I'm going to choose purple and then more colors make it more lighter all right so you can see here it end up looking something like this so this color also let me just choose this color and go to format shape fill I'm going to give the same orange color then I'm going to make it more lighter so it should look uniform everywhere all right now you can add the options go to insert text box and I'm going to type your title make it bold you can reduce the font size go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one and unwanted text I'm going to delete it and this one you can make it gray reduce the size maybe 12 and then just put it at the bottom of the title here and select both of these go to format align left and I'm going to group this press ctrl G to group it ctrl D to duplicate and then I'm going to attach this one here and this two I'm going to select and I'm going to make it a right align and here also format align you can make it right all right so let me just copy one by one now so this side left side i'm copying and this one i'm going to copy the right side all right and then make sure that it is properly aligned and this also you can properly aligned and again if you want you can use some icons you can go to insert icons remember these icons are available only in the latest version of powerpoint so i'm just randomly adding some icons i want maybe nine icons just insert it bring this side height and width i'm going to make it 0.5 and then start putting one by one next to the title here just make sure that this is properly aligned and if you want you can just give the same color of this parallelogram so you can see here and then i'm just going to add this one here and then this is the last one all right so you can see here with this we have completed the design and if you want you can add some more uh, options also and the last if you need to do some animations i can just select this and group it press ctrl g to group it each block i'm going to select the color combination and press ctrl g to group i'm just holding the shift key and selecting the objects one by one and ctrl g to group it all right and then what i can do is i can select the first one let me just close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane and i'm going to just say fly in either fly in you can make it from top also so it comes something like this and then this title should come all right so let me just select this one add animation more entrance effect stretch click ok and make it from left and this should happen after previous and this one you can add the animation basic zoom and this can happen also with previous or after previous so if i play it comes something like this now it's easy for me i'm just going to select this one click on this and then i'm going to select this animation click it here and this one should be from right and then i'm going to select the icon animation so let me just play again so this comes and then this will come like this so just now it's very easy i'm just going to copy this the animation all right and then select this one animation painter here then i'm going to select this this will be the third and then i'm going to choose this one here 
let me just do it quickly then I'm going to select the fourth option let me just select the fifth option now the last one and then this one also just click on this and then I'm going to do this also and the last one All right, so let me just play now. This will come like this. All right, so that's the end of the tutorial.